In this video, we're going to learn how to find the minimum number in a list using Python without using the built-in min function. So for example, if we have the list with the numbers 8, 9, 4, 5, and 2, 6, we could use the built-in min function to find the smallest number in this list. We could have print and then min list. And the min function when past the list is going to return the minimum number in that list. So we could save our program and try it out. And we get two, which makes sense because two is the smallest value in that list. We could write our own program to solve this problem. What we'll do is start off by assuming that the first value in the list is the smallest value in the list. We'll have here min is equal to the value stored in the first index in the list. Then we'll check each remaining value in the list. And if that value is smaller than the current min value, we'll update the min value and we'll set it to that value. We can do that by using a for loop. We'll have here for number in list. And then we'll have the loop body here. Now this loop body is going to execute for each number in this list. And each time the loop body executes, number here is going to be set to the next number in the list. So for the first loop iteration, number is going to be set to 8. Then in the next loop iteration, number is going to be set to 9. And then 4, all the way to the last loop iteration, when number is going to be set to 6. And what we'll do each time is check to see if number is less than min, the current smallest number found. And if it is, we found a smaller number, and we're going to update min. We'll set min equal to number. By the time this for loop is done, min will contain the smallest number in this list, and we can output min. We'll have here print and then min. So if we save our program and try it out, we again get two, which is the correct answer. So if we're unsure how this algorithm is working, we could add print statements to our code to help us better understand what's going on. So the first thing we could do is print out the initial value for min. We could have here print initial min and then output min. We could also output each number that we're checking in this for loop here. We could have here print and then checking and we'll have number here. We could save our program and try this out. And we can see that we start off with an initial min value of eight. And then we check each number in that list from the first element in the list all the way to the last element in the list. Now we could also check to see when the min value is updated. So for example, we could have a print statement in the body of this if statement here. We could say print and then min updated and we could output the new min value, which is going to be number. Again, we could save our program and try it out. And this time we can see when the min value was actually updated. So we start off with an initial min of eight because we initially assume that the first element in the list is going to be the smallest element in the list. Then we check each element in the list. So at first we check eight and eight is not less than eight. Then we check nine, and nine is not less than eight. Then we check four. Now four actually is less than eight. So because of that, this condition is going to be true, and we are going to update the min value. Then we're going to check five. Five is not less than four. Then we check two. Two is less than four. So again, this condition is going to be true and we're going to update the min value. And so we get min updated two here. Then finally, we check six. Six is not less than two. And so the loop finishes. And at that point, min is set to two. So we output two as the min value. And that's how the algorithm works. Now we could put this logic inside a function so that the function could be passed a list and then return the minimum number in the list. Let's do that. We'll delete these prints. 
Then up here, we'll have a function, find min, that's going to accept a list as an argument. We'll cut and paste this logic and tab it to make it part of the function body. What we'll do is return the min number that's found in this function. Then down here, we'll call the function. We'll have find min and we'll pass it the list. We can save our program and try it out. And again, we get two, which is the correct answer. By putting the logic inside a function, we can call the function at different points in our source code to find the min values in different lists without having to repeat the same code over and over. So this is how we can find the minimum value in a list in Python without using the built-in min function. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.